hello guys today I'm coming to you with a video on how to make codfish fritters Jamaican style um, there goes the cod and before you get started you will need to boil the pieces of codfish that you're going to use um, you will need to do that three times pour off the water three times and boil it three times to loosen most of the salt that would be on the fish After you do that, you get all of your ingredients together and what you're going to need is baking powder. You're going to also need flour, um, two cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and it all depends on what kind of batch, uh, how much you're going to make. Um, you need oil. You can use canola oil. In this instance, I'm going to use extra virgin olive oil. And it's just enough to fry, just as if you were frying fries or whatever and there goes the codfish that I have flaked with the fork flake it all you can use your fingers or a fork it doesn't matter and I used half the package also what you're gonna need is to chop up some vegetables and it's all um, per preference uh, if you want to make the real Jamaican uh, fritters that you will need yellow and green pepper um, onions tomatoes chopped really fine in mine I'm adding spinach because it's a way to get vegetables into my children without them like knowing so I'm using spinach in mine then you need a quarter cup of milk and a cup of water a cup of water to two cups of flour either a cup or three quarter cup you don't want it to be runny but you want it to be like mushy the consistency of the batter and I used two quarter cups of milk and a cup of water because I had a little extra flour in mine I made a bigger batch but like I said the consistency you don't want it to be runny and you don't want it to be tough you want it to be just uh, a little like damp not damp but kind of wet moist you want it to be moist, but not runny, if you get what I'm saying. And here I'm just gathering my ingredients, like you see there, uh, the two and a half cups of flour that I used. But you can use two cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Yeah, started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Boys, boys, tell stories about the men. Say I never struggled, wasn't hungry, yeah, I got it. I can turn your boy into the men. So when you get all your flour and your baking powder, all your dry ingredients together, just go ahead and what I do is just add um, all my vegetables into the batter um, and stir that up. Just get that incorporated really well before I add my liquids. I just stir it up really good. It's just something that I do. I don't know if you want to do your milk. And, and milk is my preference. Usually people just use water. But I prefer to put milk in there just for a little bit of a better consistency than water just to be a little thicker or whatever my preference again like I said there goes the spinach so I'm gonna stir all that up and you also want to add your fish into the batter and stir that up really well after which we will then add our milk and our water And after I stir all of that up, I just let it sit for a good 10 minutes uh, just so the, you know, everything can settle. I don't know. I'm not too sure if you're supposed to. That's just what I do. <laughs> just let it sit for a little bit. Let the batter sit. So it, I guess if it's going to, you know, flour kind of rises or whatever. I know there's no yeast in there, but flour does its thing. And uh, by the time your oil heats up, then... 
you'll be ready to go. And I believe I use like maybe two to three quarter cups of oil. Yeah, to start out with. So get that nice and stirred up. Okay, I'm adding black pepper to mine. This is highly optional. There's something that I like to do. It's not necessary. I'm just adding a tad. Also, as far as seasoning and salt, you don't need to add that because the codfish carries a lot of salt. Unless you boiled it excessively and it has no flavor. You may want to add some, but otherwise, it's really not necessary. So now I'm going to get everything together and get, when my oil gets hot. And add the fritter to the pot. So after the oil gets pretty hot, like, you know, sizzling a little bit, you just scoop it in the pan, any shape you like. It all depends on whatever you like. You can use the oval shape, you can use the pancake shape, make them thick, you can make them thin. It's all basic preference, trial and error. So just do the thing. And here I am putting them in the pan and just smashing it down a little bit just to make it a little thin or shape it a little. It's purely up to you. And then this batch probably will yield like 25 for me, 25. It all depends on the size that you make the fritters. So we're just going to get them all in the pan and just fry them till they're brown on each side, which takes at least maybe three to five minutes, depending on your heat, but it doesn't take long at all. So after you get it brown on one side, then you want to flip it over. And here I'm getting a spoon, a regular spoon, because that spoon is too big. Brown them on each side three to five minutes, and then you're good to go. As you can see here, I fit six at a time in the pan. As you can see, they're nice and brown after I flipped them over and waited another three to five minutes and let them cook a little, and then you're ready to take them out. There you have it, a nice and brown Jamaican codfish or saltfish fritters. They serve as both names. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and um, this is my first food tutorial and my first food narration, so bear with me. I hope you enjoy. Me and my family do. Again, thanks for watching. Mwah.